You're looking at a daily chart of the NASDAQ. Uh, welcome to my daily review from Thursday. This is Friday morning. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, this is for my entertainment purposes only. But if you just take a look at the NASDAQ here, you can see that this uh, short-term moving average, the 50, is crossing through the uh, longer-term moving average, this black line, the 200, in what does some refer to as a golden cross type of action. It was up uh, yesterday. It's been up uh, four days in a row. So if you just look at the index here and not listen to the news, you can see that the um, the index is doing well. It's up more than 5% this week. It uh, rallied 15% up until uh, February 2nd. So that was the first part of the year. It gave back, um, you know, half of it, a little more than 7%. And then now is um, trending higher here these last four sessions. And uh, like I say, if you just didn't, listen to the news and you just looked at this chart you would say this is pretty bullish action i'm going to take a look at a few stocks that are doing well this is a um, meta that was on our watch list here it um, broke above this uh, downtrend line and uh, has been up you know, every day this week yesterday it had a real strong volume and uh, it was breaking out and it went above the uh, 200 level without much problem we'll see what happens today Friday, St. Patrick's Day, but Meta looks good. AMD is another one. Stage one base. You can see that it sold off. It corrected for a long, long time since, um, you know, November of 2021. And uh, has now formed a stage one base. I think it topped there the last week of November of 21. And now has formed this uh, stage one base here and broke out recently. Looks a lot like Meta as well. Uh, LNTH is another one, the medical product stock. Uh, I formed this big cup with handle pattern. And I uh, had a nice move yesterday and started to push away from the base, but definitely looking like a strong stock. I like that pattern. Uh, Arrested Networks is a computer networking company. Was on our watch list. It pulled back to the uh, 21, got support, and it's just blasted higher. Now it's above 160. And made a new high yesterday. That one looks good. Um, Lattice Semiconductor is another one. Now you can see the weekly there. Click through it too quickly here. This base, you know, with handle pattern and is now just kind of ripped higher the last few weeks. Getting support at the 21. Made a new high on Thursday. Palo Alto Networks, cybersecurity stock. These are all, you know, tech and medical Stocks, you know, larger cap for the most part. This is Palo Alto's market cap is 57 billion, but you can see this a bull wedge pattern here that's formed that uh, I think is uh, pretty bullish here. I do not own this stock, but that looks pretty bullish to me with support at the, this 21 line here. And you can see the RS line is uh, it's showing a lot of strength as the RS line uh, trends higher. Uh, Global Foundries. Another one with this little base on base pattern, and this is kind of handling out here, but definitely closed above its 21. Simple moving average. This is on our watch list. Is it hasn't made its move yet, and the semiconductor stocks have been strong. Two and a half percent above its uh, 21 EMA. That looks good. Uh, SMCI is a hardware stock. Um, it's still in this base here. It's trading a little wider and looser. You can see it went above 100, and then pull back down near its 50 and yesterday had a nice day up nearly six percent it's trading a little wider and looser than it did you know back last summer and even in the fall since this breakout day you can see the daily bars are, are much wider and it's uh, having trouble at that 100 level crocs as i go to the retail stocks crocs uh, sliced its 50 you know on lighter volume then it's made a move back the last three sessions and just closed a tick above its uh, 50. It needs to really power through there with volume. Uh, Elf is another stock that uh, is just not giving back its gains. It's been having these this big uh, gap up, and now it's trading uh, the last four days higher and is above all moving averages. Elf looks good to me for higher prices. Texas Roadhouse, some of the retail stocks here that I'm going to go through. Uh, this is a, a food stock. And it made a new high yesterday. You can see it blasted out of its base. Uh, so that one is strong. Wingstop, this one is still 
was uh, near a buy point and uh, had a nice move yesterday, up nearly 4%. So that one looks good as well. Uh, Academy Sports, they uh, reported earnings and blasted out of a base here. It made a new high. That one looks good, much like Dick's. When it reported earnings, blasted out of this base, pulled back to its 10, and uh, it's it's forming uh, a bull wedge, kind of like um, you know Palo Alto a little bit here. It comes up, pulls back to its 10 EMA. We'll see if that... Uh, leads to higher prices. Anyway, happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you for watching. We never give up.